Welcome back to my favorite day of the week, which is a Tuesday between 1 and 3. I do all my interviews. I'm Ninon, Vegas Live with Ninon, and I have George Ellis with me. He's a reoccurring guest, and uh, we're going to find out he's a producer, and obviously um, a lot of productions are really gravitating to Vegas. Understatement. Are they? Yeah, hey, yeah. George, how are you? I'm good. How are you? you look great. I love the Thank outfit. Thank you. Thank outfit. you very much. I feel I'm underdressed. Gonna... No, men can dress how they want. <laughs> Women have to dress up a little bit more because... You know, they become a little bit more attractive. A woman casual to me is not really cool, but a guy casual is cool. But I like to see a guy casual with a nice sort of jacket on. I think that's a cool look with jeans and a jacket and Gucci shoes. All right, let's get back to George. <laughs> I can't afford those I'm, shoes. I'm on, on a that rampage. Jacket. Let's all right. Go ahead. Anyway, so how, <laughs> no, I'm doing the interview. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for the opportunity. How, how is the production company coming on? Um, Oh, mine? George yes, Elias Presents? Yes. Oh, it's good. It's good. Real good. Um, I'm putting the finishing touches on my next feature film. It's a mockumentary about the... Uh, a mockumentary? Yeah. This is something new for me. What's a mockumentary? That sounds... I like those words. Those sound like young words, don't they? <coughs> like new young words. words. I They're love young words. That. They're new young I'm not, things. I'm not even that young, but thank you. Actually, I'm not young at all. Well, but, no, uh, every, I know he's young because everybody's... I'm always the oldest one. I don't uh, care what group I'm in, I'm always, but I never tell anybody my age. Fine wine, dear. Fine wine. Fine wine, oh, I agree with that. There you go. Nice bottle of fine wine and a nice dinner. And we're not condoning alcoholism. Let's, let's get back to Let's get back to But no, it's a, a mockumentary is a... Uh, it's mocking? Um, basically. It's a... It's, it's a it's a, it's a basically a false, a fake documentary. A false mocking. It's yeah, mocking. it's mocking it. Yeah, it's, mocking. it's presented. I, I, yeah. It's it's basically what you're seeing is presented as documentary. Yes, no, as, as a, a documentary. As a documentary. It makes you believe that it's real, but in reality, it's not. It's, oh, but, uh, I like that. It's about the uh, the cones here in the Vegas Valley, the traffic cones. Oh well, yeah, I know what the cones are. Those are those orange things. Right? Yeah, the state tree, the state flower, the, whatever. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know they're on every corner. <laughs> Yeah, so big. You should say that, but you're right. I don't care where you turn. There's always something going on with a cone. Basically, yeah. Hey, let's all become cones, and we could all stand no. in a row around all this. No, God, no. But no, yeah, bad the, idea. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. It's about it's about the cone epidemic and how it's just they're everywhere and they're oh, annoying. Cone epidemic. I never heard of that one either. Oh ah, well, you're. But th that is true, though. Um, but, but that happens in kind of every country. Every town, everywhere you go, all over the world, there's always I'm work that. going on somewhere, mm. which is good. Um, is so, it? Well, you've got to repair something, haven't you? You can't keep oh, using true, the same true. old thing. Well, you that's, know? yeah, true. Roads have to be built, and buildings yeah, have to be built, and streets have to be blocked off in part. Yeah, but haven't you ever noticed how there's those streets sometimes where there'll be a long stretch of them, and there's no construction, and the oh, roads I are love fine. That. I love that when you're absolutely you, right. Yeah, even so your cameraman this, knows. So <laughs> He's I see you laughing over there. That, that, that is so true. And normally that's on a big highway. Mm -hmm. And normally you have this great big long thing and you think, what on earth are they doing and stopping us? And you've got this one line that goes back for seven or eight miles. Yeah. And you see those signs, road work ahead. And you literally and you're get... looking for the road yeah, work. You get past the entire <laughs> section and no road work has happened. So we just made a movie about cones. So let's talk about your movie. Is this what your movie is? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a mockumentary. But at the same time, it's... It's, it's a document. It's like a combination of the two. Is it like comedic, a little funny? Uh, yeah. Though the trailer is out now, you can find it on YouTube. Oh, great! Uh, Where? On my YouTube page, just go, just look up George Elias presents. George Elias on YouTube. Yes, George, that, George Elias presents. Oh, George Elias presents. That. Okay. Yes. Just get that right out. And you're on you're on YouTube. I'm on YouTube, and Facebook, also don't Instagram. To subscribe to his page, please. Yes. Yeah, and all those things. Oh, I, I can't keep up anymore. I can't keep up. Everybody says, Nino, you've got to have more subscribers. And I said, Well, how do I do that? I can't make people watch what I do. No. But maybe if I stand on my head, I can. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. Maybe to not do. even then. I don't know what to do. Yeah. No. Maybe I should just wear lower dresses or. The shorter dresses are. Wear that, know, wear that outfit, stand not, on your head. There you go. There, I'll just be like this. There you go. We'll that's put a cone in each hand. <laughs> the cone lady. <coughs> but yeah, that's basically my my second feature so what film. Made you, did you write this? Yeah. This is getting even funnier. So you wrote it, so it's kind of funny and it's serious as well. Yeah, it's 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 it's. There's definitely a message that in it that I hope my well, my audience get. Can, uh, can I know the message? Because some uh, film people come on and they don't want to. Oh, I can't talk about the film. And I say, well, what are you doing here? Can I think talk that, about it? Uh, that one I can't. That one I have to leave it till it comes out. Till it comes out. Yes. But you've got the the the, the uh, play the small one coming out, right? 
What do you the, mean? The, the, to publicize that it's coming on. Oh yeah, the trailer. Like I said, the oh, trailer sorry, is the trailer. out. Yeah, the, the trailer and the. Uh, so and if the trailer's out. Let's talk about just the trailer then. Okay. So what does what does the trailer? What does it give to the audience that want to come and see the movie? Because it's got to be something pretty good. Mm. He's laughing. He thinks he's, he's probably seen about. it. That's why. I don't but, know. Did you yeah, see it? Basically, basically, oh. what it is is it's it's a. Uh, best way to describe it. I'm treating the cones, almost like. Human beings. Yeah. How did I know that? Because I just I read your mind. I could see you. <laughs> that transparent, huh? So now you have different. <laughs> this is really becoming quite funny. You have names for these cones. That, I, I that mean, you're going to have to wait and see. But are see, they, but see, are I, they family I, members? Like you have mom and dad some, and the kids. Yes, yes. Some of them do. Yeah. I'm just making this up, and it's true. And yeah, I have wow. a, I have, I interview people throughout the Vegas Valley, but I also went out to. Should have like, interviewed me. It really would have been funny. <laughs> I can probably still make that happen. <laughs> Hey, she said it. She really said talk it. About cones, but no, yeah, I, you I, think cones are only in Vegas or in Los Angeles? They're not. They're oh, in no. England as well, and they're in Torquay. When is the high season? What do they call them over there? Do they call them cones as well? I believe they're still cones. I, I, no, I think there's another name for them, but I'm going to call them cones because I've become American. <laughs> I'm now American with an English accent. What's wrong with that? Welcome. People like that. Tom, I can't hide myself. Why? Because even if I don't dress up and I don't do anything, mm. as soon as I talk, something. Oh, I know who you are, and I. Oh, well, here I go. The you, voice. There the you voice. go. See. Hey, but so see, but they know, but they know you. That's a good thing. Okay. And they're talking. So, what is the idea of making a movie about cones apart from being very funny? Because you're actually getting to a point that is quite serious in the entire world. Well, there is actually there's several things involved in it. It talks about not just the, you know the cone thing cone, and about yes. constant construction. It also talks about immigration, oh. and it also talks about you know um, just laws and wasteful spending, basically, you know, money. <laughs> yeah, and we're doing that at the moment with this impeachment, but let's not go there. Oh, we're not going there. No, but that's yeah. waste. Talk about waste of money. Oh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, and yeah. people, people with intelligence have got brains wasting their time too. Mm. Yeah, that's why I just, whenever that stuff comes on, I just change the channel. So do I. I've been changing it all the time. I found out some great programs, by the way. Maybe I'll come across yours. There you go. So anyway, mm -hmm. you're saying it's not only uh, about the cones, it's about other things. What? Yes, it, t it talks about a little bit of, it literally, it's like a melting pot, gumbo. You know, a little bit of everything. You know, I aim so to... So immigration, what do you do about immigration? Well, it's almost like I treat the cones like, like immigrants as well. So there's, seven, so there's going to be seven miles of cones. Remember? Well, I, I am the, the son of two uh, former immigrants. You know, I'm the product oh. of two. And growing up as a kid, yeah, it's like well, I saw I how... I don't want to ask the embarrassing mm. question, but I'm going to. Do you have a green card? Yes, I do. Are you an American? Yeah. See? Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Look and I look at the camera. Yes, I am. I was born here. So, but the thing... Well, not in Vegas. I was born in California. Yes. But, yeah. And, you know, my parents, but, you know, well... So my, there's a new law coming out. Um, you can't come here and have a child and then go back. The, 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 the That's what they're saying. But yeah. uh, I, I don't, I don't I, I've never heard of why anybody would want to do that and why they wouldn't want their child born in the same country as they want their child. You know, so as parents. I mean, if I had a child, if I lived in America, I'd like the child to remember. But if I was in England, I would like the child to be born in But then again, when if you have no control about it? Like, let's say you're on a flight and the baby comes out. Well, it's, it's what you call mid air. There you go. Yeah, is it? Well, we well, of course you're mid air. You're neither here nor there. Yeah, but there. that's the thing is, I've wondered what what is your citizenship then if you're born I in think the air? I think that's. I think that. Well, uh, <laughs> ooh, do I answer this question or not? I think you. I tell you what, my answer would be you have a choice. You have a choice. Oh, I like that. Can we have a choice? Are we still allowed to have a choice? Uh, I'd say for about maybe ten more years. Just made it. <laughs> about ten more years. So. Just made it. <laughs> But no, yeah, that, like I said, that's my second feature film. My first feature film, The Movie. Uh, that's actually what I was on your show last time to talk about. The Movie. About. How yeah, did that movie. go? What happened? Oh, boy. That message uh, was not very... Under it was misunderstood by a lot of people. It's a politically correct film. Okay, so... When Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm no, not no, no, a no, huge no, politics I'm not, guy. I'm not it's just another one. But if, you're, if you've done something, you've learned by words or things you put into that movie yeah. that didn't quite grasp as many people as you wanted it to... Mm -hmm. Did, that, did you realize that I've got to be very careful as to how I phrase something? Because phraseology, actually, it's, it's how you say something more than what you say sometimes. 
True. No, I agree. But I feel that no matter how cautious you are, things are always taken in and out of context. No, I don't think you should be cautious. I think you should speak your mind. That's my... I do, and I get into a lot of trouble. I get into so much trouble speaking my mind, but that's okay. Um, but at the same... I do. But at the same time, it's the truth. Now, it is. why can't you just tell the truth and sort of, you know, rather sort of... I guess you in films, you've got to really try to... Um, bring everybody in so you've got to try to peace I think it, I think it goes back when to answer your question why can't you just tell the truth it goes back to that old question that, I mean not question but that old saying the truth hurts a lot of people doesn't, don't like to be told the truth don't they despise the truth yeah. they prefer sugar coated if you know that's what I mean. right they love sugar coating because people will say to me they don't ever ask Nina a question she will give you the right answer and you probably won't like it mm, no I, I, do that I, I wonder if I should put that to a test you can you, can. you could put it right now to a test if you want to. I don't mind. What's but your I, favorite part about the, doing the show? Well, my favorite part about doing the show is getting up in the morning and preparing myself for the show, making sure I've got everything in order and I've got everything together, and the excitement builds up. So, as I just said at the opening of my show, that Tuesdays is one of my favorite days because I prepare for the show and everything's together. I get to see Steve, I get to see Lynn, and I get and also Keith, and I get to get down here at the Pepper Mill. It's, it's like a, 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 an incredible excitement. Mm. It's just um, it's so the just process a fulfillment. The process is the fulfillment of something you're doing, mm -hmm. and you really like it because I, I do believe in this world, we are born all the same and we die all the same. There is no difference. There is absolutely no difference. Mm, maybe. Well, with the kind of cesarean or natural birth or whatever you want to call exactly, it. Exactly, there's a difference. So some a difference. are natural, some are cesarean. So there's a bit of a difference. I think he's splitting hairs, but that's okay. Anyway, I got, we all I got come out. We all <laughs> Comedy hour is on. Uh, <laughs> but I think, you know, but it's what we do in between. And I think that's just, we like to blame a lot of people for the mistakes we make. But when something good comes along, oh, it's all mine. It's mine. We want it's all the credit. Yeah. 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 But I think that's one of the one of the. But that's human beings. But honestly, that's one of the more, for me, anyways, more rewarding and gratif biggest gratification things of being a filmmaker in the independent world is that, you know, I mean, if it fails, yeah, you take all the blame, which is not, which yeah, is not fun. But, but if it succeeds, but aren't you prepared for that? What failure? Not failure, but people's comments. Ah, you just well, it can't be failure. I, I mean, listen. I get a lot of good comments and I get a lot of bad comments. Believe me, if I, I get more bad than you, I get. Well, I don't know. I don't. I oh no, I'm just counted them up yet. <laughs> but I'm prepared for both because if you put yourself out there for whatever you do in life, and it could be anything, mm -hmm. you can be a secretary putting yourself out there. And if you don't do a good job, it doesn't matter. It's not always on the television. It's not always film business. True. But, but there's anything you put yourself out there. That's what but you But see, the thing do. is, when it comes to those things, you have to learn to just listen. Like, like I'm sorry. You have to, when it comes to any form of criticism, you have to just hear it, but don't listen to it, as in in and out the ear. Because if you listen to only the good ones and no, not the like bad. No, I like the bad ones. I like them all. I yeah, like you know, you can't, you can't like really believe. I'm going back to the coat. I'm going to come back. Let me, I always thought I was going to come back as a Black Panther, but I think I'm going to come back as a cone in Vegas on the corner of walk and don't walk. <laughs> you would. You would. But which cone, though? The which, small oh, ones, the big no, ones, the tall, be, thin no, ones? I, oh, the tall, the tall, thin ones. The tall, thin ones. I want to be a tall and thin. I yeah. just want to be that sign that says, roll work ahead, <laughs> that everyone always knocks over. <laughs> a road worker. You know, is that so? But yes, constructing That's usually same. on a sign, not a cone. Yeah, but same difference. The same right, color. same difference. Same, uh, same color. How can anybody reach you? George Elias Presents is... is, is is everywhere? Yeah. And when is this movie coming out? Um, my, well, I'm going to have the premiere for it on March 10th. Okay. Uh, and then after that, the actual, like, all around, like, I guess official premiere would probably be March 20th, I'll say. But, the, but yeah. So look around that time. Constructing Sin. So look out Just for Google George movie. Elias Presents. It leads you to all the stuff. God, I hate saying that. It sounds so, like, jerky. It's lovely. It sounds, it's like cool. a, it sounds like a douche thing to say. Hey, you're cool. <laughs> Am I? So, he's a cool guy. He's got a girlfriend right over there. And yeah, I, my girlfriend's over be there. Nice Hi, Chris. Her. Yeah. You be careful over there. I might steal him. Hey. Well, it is cool. There's a fan around. No, I've got my own guy. Don't worry. No. Is <laughs> don't, it Steve? Don't worry. Got, is it Stevie? No, Steve's got a wife and Steve's kids a great guy. and animals. Yeah, and I'm talking about he, you. He's got too much baggage to take on. <laughs> I want someone with no baggage. That could be taken out, that could be taken out of context. No, no, that could. Okay, well, let's close. I think that should, close I think that should be the closing line. Though. I think it's the closing line. Mm. Before I get myself into a whole lot of trouble, which I have on this whole guest segment. I'm not saying 
And Steve is not saying anything except he's laughing. Lynn's laughing. Everyone's laughing. Hey, so she said you got. Close out. She said you come with a lot of package, so we'll leave yeah, it at he's that. Got so much package. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> no, that's it. Steve and his baggage. <laughs> we'll be right back with our next guest, Vegas Live with Ninon. Take care. <laughs> if you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon. <laughs>